Well, Barcelona has gone back into a local lockdown over the weekends and there's also a curfew for the evenings. So that means delay on the car, it means no trips down to the land, and they say that bad things come in threes. So what's the next bad thing? Welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we're going to be sharing with you how we've been progressing with our tiny house build even when we've not been able to get down to the land. There's been another Barcelona lockdown, so we've been three hours away from the land, but we've still managed to make a huge amount of progress on what we want the layout to look like and planning the actual tiny house itself. So here's what we've been up to. We're Danny and Kate. Five years ago, we left the UK to start a new chapter of our lives together in Barcelona. We've enjoyed the busy city, sunny beaches and the snow-capped mountains, but it's time for a new adventure. We're on the hunt for a piece of land in the Spanish countryside to build an off-grid tiny house and start a homestead. Follow along as we build our dream life together. If you're new to our channel and you haven't seen the property that we've purchased, then I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can have a look at our other videos. You can see the types of properties that we visited and the one that we've actually purchased. You can see the land, the type of building and what it is that we're actually going to be working on for this tiny house project. When we last visited the land, we spent loads of time measuring out the existing building and the surrounding space. And with these measurements, I drew up a scale plan of the house footprint and the closest bancals, um, including the stonewall thickness, the existing windows and doorways, etc. Then we mounted the scale plan behind a piece of clear perspex so that we could draw on top of it with board markers. We're both really visual people, so this gave us a simple way of sketching ideas and talking through different options, but being able to move around key pieces without needing to fiddle around with all of the details digitally or work together around a small laptop screen. In our designs, we've been looking at um, the best way to use a space and trying to use as much multifunctional design as possible to get the best usage of our 60 square meters. So we've got 30 meters above, 30 meters below, and in this we need to get um, a kitchen, a lounge and two bedrooms ideally and maybe a small bathroom inside as well. We've discovered some really interesting uses of space on Pinterest and watching things like van lifers and loads of tiny house YouTubers and it's giving us an idea of how to use the space more cleverly um, so that we can have a lot of storage space and be able to use it more effectively. So I don't know whether you guys have got any good tips or tricks or storage solutions for small spaces. Um, leave them in the comments down below if you have. We'd love to hear them. Um, we're open to as many ideas as possible in the moment. Time for a break. Because of the restrictions we've got um, in Barcelona with the COVID pandemic, we've got to stay within the city limits. Luckily, this does include the mountain of Mondrique, which is an open national park. So to keep ourselves a bit active and more sane, we've been able to get out and um, explore a little bit still. It's a nice bit of a nature escape and gives us a chance to clear our mind a little bit, get a breath of fresh air, stretch the legs and just think through some of the ideas that we've already been talking about. Then have a chance to come back to those designs with a fresh mind and think over them again. Okay, back to it. So we've been looking at um, tiny house builds on YouTube as well as van builds to look at the different methods of construction that they've been using and the different layouts to see what we think will work for us and what we can implement in the space we've got. Because you could have those sliding doors. Mm -hmm. And we just keep that open generally and walk through it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking for most things because then like imagine you had to, the kind of like, you know, it was just half of that and it kind of slid across and went back. Mm. Japanese style things, but maybe in glass, isn't it? This is all going to be storage. And like this bit, maybe, if it was up there, 
but these are only going to be big enough to, because they're the lower stairs mm. so they're going to be like this high so they're they're only going to be able to be either a cupboard that comes a drawer yeah that comes but you remember you can but remember you can pull drawers out from where the stairs are as well yeah over the past few weeks, we've cycled through loads of tiny house layout designs and different options for both the interior and the exterior of our new home. And we think we've finally settled on one that we really like. We'll be going through what we finally decided in another video. Uh, but for the moment, what we're trying to do is get these digitized. Um, we found a program or we've seen a program that other people have been using called SketchUp. So we're trying to get our designs onto there so we can then show these to an architect and see if what we've planned is feasible and legal in the area. We're going to try and contact a local architect from the Baishebra region and there's kind of two main reasons for that. One is that they they have lots of different types of rules and restrictions and building regulations that differ from region to region. So it's important that we speak to somebody from that area who's going to have that local knowledge and understand what's possible and what's not possible for that particular region. But also, they're going to have worked on other properties just like this with other people. So hopefully they're going to have some kind of insider knowledge and some information for us that we might not get from an architect who works city-based. So that's it for now. Uh, we hope you uh, have enjoyed seeing a little bit of how we've been planning to build the tiny house. But the good news is that although we're still confined to the city, there was no third bad thing yet. We're going on a bit of an adventure because we just got a beautiful little puppy and it's his first journey in the car. Paco is having a bit of a baptism of fire with a, a two and a half hour journey down to the land from Barcelona. So